Hello, Virgo. Your weekly love tarot reading begins with a Knight of Pentacles, a Knight of Swords, Two of Pentacles, and a Hermit card, number nine. Um, your person is coming in this week with a Six of Swords, a Page of Wands, the Hanged Man, wow, and the Sun. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. A lot of love here. A lot of affection. Um, we're going to come back to that Six of Cups. Oftentimes, that can indicate somebody from a past, uh, you know, a relationship from the past that is still enduring, full of joy, nostalgia. But we'll come back to that, Virgo. Let's just talk about how you guys are coming in. We have some energy here. Sun, the hermit. Um, juggling a lot for you, Virgo, right? Uh a lot of night energy, a lot of other people involved here. So let's get right into your reading. Um, you're coming in this week with Knight of Pentacles energy, and your person is coming in with Six of Swords. So for you, you're moving ahead with your plans, right? You have a particular goal in mind, and it almost feels like you're laying groundwork. You're moving towards your goal, but this week it feels like a lot of it is laying groundwork, um, little baby steps at a time, right? Nevertheless, you're committed. Your person is coming in with a six of swords, so they're moving away from a difficult situation. They're moving away from a uh, from a period, or I want to say, could be an individual. You may be dealing with somebody who's just breaking up, but this person is moving away from some toxicity, right? Moving away from either an environment or a relationship, a connection with people or a person that has just caused them a lot of strife, a lot of arguing, a lot of pain. And they've decided to sort of like pack their bags and move to calmer shores. Now let's go ahead and get some of your clarifiers out on these. These are just the energies. What folded over, yeah, flipped over was the judgment card. I'm going to keep that. Interesting here because almost indicates that there is um, forgiveness, reconciliation, right, on the, on the board. This may be an old lover, Virgo. This may be a disconnection with this person, maybe from someone with someone in your past. Uh, hence, you have this beautiful, warm feeling with the Six of Cups, this, no this nostalgia, this forgiveness. But let's get clarity. Wow, Seven of Cups for you. And four of swords for your person. So for you, yeah, there is a wish here. There's a hope here that you're moving towards. But you, it may be a little bit unrealistic, right? You have some grand plans, right? Uh, <clears throat> you have some seriously grand plans here with this individual. Um, but they're not all the way there, right? You know, your person is coming in with this energy four of swords over that six of uh, swords. So it's like, yes, they're moving away from some toxicity and some turmoil, but they're not quite ready to move forward with anyone else just yet. They're in repose. They're making a decision. I'm not sure that this person is ready to do something with you. How do you guys see each other? <clears throat> well, here you have... Uh, some interesting energy. When you see them, you see Knight of Swords, and for them, they see Page of Wands. You both see each other uh, in a quite fearless and dynamic way. Um, they see you a little bit more naive, not naive, but a bit of a younger vibe. You may be younger than this person, Virgo. You see them as someone who is just full of energy right now, Knight of Swords. You know, it's obvious to you that they have... Uh, that they have a goal in mind, that they're moving very, very fast right now. Um, they're in a very sort of carefree spirit right now. You see that about them, right? Definitive, though. You're dealing with somebody, Virgo, who knows what they want, but right now they're feeling very, very carefree, and they're not prepared just yet, I feel like, to get tied down or to, let's say, make any decisions. Meanwhile, like I say over here, you're coming in with a lot of goals, you know. They see you as a page of wands, so you represent someone who is uh, fresh and new, exciting, um, their needs, you know, they feel that you are quite uh, fiery, 
Um, but also someone I'm going to say who is not all that uh, grounded, right? Or responsible, right? Um, this is a very sort of young, fiery, energetic, fearless energy. But I, I wonder if maybe why they're, they're still sitting back, make, you know, holding back, not making any decisions on you just yet, because you you come across as, uh, as not necessarily having a plan, even though here you clearly have one. It's not how you're coming across to this person. Again, if they are a bit older than you or looking for something a bit more stable or solid or secure or committed, you may not be coming across to them with the right energy. Uh, King of Swords, so you, okay, Nine of Cups, they're happy here. They enjoy their time with you. Clearly, there's a connection here, okay? So these love readings are always about a connection you have with somebody, but it may just have not gotten to a place where, okay, we are together, committed just yet. They enjoy, they love being with you, okay? So there's no sort of ambigu uh, ambiguity about that. There's no, it's not ambiguous. It's not wishy-washy. They really enjoy their time with you with that nine of cups. But I think that you also are realizing that in order to catch this person or to get this person, you're going to have to step up, right? King of Swords energy comes in. You're going to have to really sort of step into your grown folk attitude and really be much more decisive in the way that you speak to them or come across to them. You're going to have to, uh, I feel as though you may have to articulate your desire, okay? But you clearly have a focus. You clearly have a desire here and a wish here. There's love here. But um, again, I'm not, I feel like you're probably Virgo doing a lot of work behind the scenes, but you're not telling this person necessarily about it. And so, yeah, they really enjoy their time with you, but they're not really sure how committed you are. And I think you realize this. And over this next period, you begin to really be much more, um, I don't want to use the, I don't want, it's not aggressive, but much more intentional towards this person about, hey, this is, you know, this is what I'm thinking, you know, this is what I'm thinking. I'm looking ahead, you know, and yeah, it, maybe it is some un, unrealistic ideas right now, but mostly it's unrealistic because you haven't really articulated it to the person. Now, how do you guys see your role in this relationship? Well, for you, two of pentacles, right now you're juggling a lot. You may have other people in your life that you're dealing with. Again, I feel like this is not yet a stably connected you know, love, love connection, right? A stably agreed upon, right? You both haven't just yet agreed. They come in with this hanged man energy. Yeah, they're not, you know, right now for them, their role, they feel like they're just biding their time, hanging around, you know, um, not pulling a trigger, not making a move, not making a decision. I think you guys, it feels very much like you guys are kind of swimming around each other in whatever fishbowl, you know, socially hanging out. Yeah, you're having a lot of fun, but they're still kind of, they're, they're really going to stay on the fence before making any move. Hankman energy is just like being happy where you're at, not having to put too much effort in. Yeah, you know, it's it's an unusual sort of point of view for your person, but they're good with it. They're good hanging in there right now until inspiration really comes in for them to make a move. Um, and they're waiting for that. Uh, Two of Pentacles, as I said, for you, Virgo, you're juggling a lot and it feels like you're having to sort of shore up a lot for this relationship, right? Two of Pentacles energy, it's a lot of sort of like... um multitasking, right? Keeping a lot of balls in the air, keeping your options open, um, handling a lot. So it feels like for you, this is work. There's some work involved in terms of this connection and getting it to where you want it, right? Some of you also Virgos, you know, as I say, because you guys are still kind of dancing around each other right now. You ha you're not like, oh, we are partners yet, right? Um, some of you Virgos may be juggling other relationships as well right now, because also for you, yes, your eye is on them, but you know, Hey, you know, <laughs> you may already have somebody. Some of you are coming out of a connection with somebody else, you know, 
Because I look ahead and I see hermit energy and it feels like Virgo, some of you are still connected with somebody else that's really not playing a major factor in your life. You're having to disentangle yourself from them first. Get into your hermit before you are available to this connection here. A connection which I actually honestly, well, there's four of wands, actually honestly believe is the one for you. And that's interesting. Your person now comes in with two of pentacles. Wow. Okay. So for you, let me come to you first. Yeah. Uh, what is clarified here? Four of Wands. This is an 1111 soulmate energy card. Virgo, you have met somebody that you slowly but surely decide is your mate, is your soulmate, is somebody you want to be with, right? And in order to get there, you're having to go to Hermit. And yes, yeah, so this is definitely Virgo. Some of you are definitely with somebody right now or just at the tail end of a relationship right now. And this person here is like, boom, it's something that you really want. They are sort of, and here with the Seven of Cups, it feels like they are kind of presenting an opportunity to have what you always really truly desired. And you can see happiness, joy, celebration here. Possibly, four, four of Wands can sometimes indicate possible marriage, you know, long-term, stable relationships, happy. Again, but having to get into your hermit before you get there. Because for some of you, you're still disentangling right now. Your person coming in with two of pentacles just as you have the sun. They're also juggling a lot, right? They they have a lot of things going on right now. But I think for them, it's much more to do with just their lives, their livelihood, their work. They're really focused on their goals right now, physical goals in terms of their money, their fitness, their health, their environment, how they live and everything. Nevertheless, the sun comes in. And the sun is the, one of the greatest cards in tarot for promoting love. Love and nurturing and growth. I mean, without the sun, we just cannot prosper. We can't grow. And so sun also brings clarity. Your person does gain a huge amount of clarity in this connection with you. But I think that happens as a result of the actions that you take here, Virgo. Your actions to really get your life in order to move towards this person. And part of that is the willingness to be on your own for a little while, to clear the deck as it were, or clear the board, you know, so that, so that this can start off healthy and strong and without any residual energy. Okay. For some of you, this is definitely a reconciliation. Okay. For some of you, this is somebody you have been with before, right? And you're wanting to be with again. So let's move all of this down a little bit and get ready to pull out your oracles. Yeah, this is a nice, nice, nice love connection. Nevertheless, right? I mean, my goodness, you know, and it's, it's healthy because it's like, Virgo, you are absolutely, um, you know, you're finding yourself committed to this person, moving towards this person. They just represent something you've wanted for like a really long time, I think. And you're realizing that we have celebration and one more and relationships. Wow. Yeah. Celebration relationships coming in. This is a celebration because you just... You know, there's a realization here for you, Virgo, that you found the one. You found the one, one of the ones, right? Because we have many ones in our lives. But for right now, this is the one. And there is like a sense of excitement and celebration here. But again, relationships, you know. Um, yeah, this relationship is going to require a few steps ahead of time from you. Especially since uh, right now, some of what you desire is out of reach, but there it's out of reach because of circumstance. Circumstance being that some of you need to sort of let go of some of, some of the stuff that you're juggling. And I do mean when I say stuff, I mean people. Some of the other people you're juggling in your life to really, you know, come to a whole and single, properly single place uh, to give this your full attention. Hermit energy, very important here. Oh, golden egg associated with the heart chakra. You look at all that gold, that's warmth coming in. And the horse, well, beautiful energy in terms of animal spirits, Virgo. The golden egg is associated with the heart chakra, ether energy. Yes, the golden egg is all about warmth and understanding, nurturing, 
uh, communicating, you know, um, just being really in touch with your heart and, and the love that's in there, you know, and, and, you know, encouraging it by supporting it and nurturing it. The horse, of course, earth energy is the master of the earth realm. The horse is determined, uh, tenacious, the stamina, the stamina and the momentum, uh, more than anything, I would say the stamina of the horse to really, as an animal spirit, to sort of keep going towards its objective, which at all times is freedom and independence, of course, the master animal for freedom, but keep moving towards its objective no matter what the terrain, in terms of uh, no matter how rocky the terrain or the ground is broken or there are obstacles or the horse has to jump or whatever, uh, the animal spirit of the horse will take you over all the difficult terrain towards your objective and won't stop. And so this is the master of the earth realm. And when we talk about that terrain, those are obstacles. Any of the obstacles that are in your way to attaining this and to um, opening that heart chakra to towards this person, you are absolutely there for uh, getting rid of, jumping over, getting rid of whatever you need to do, right? Um, because, um, because you desire this so much, right? It comes in and it feels like waves, Virgo. It feels like this desire for this relationship just comes in stronger and stronger and stronger until you finally realize what, what you need to do here to get this person. We have optimism, and assertion, yes, of course, making, you know, full rounded vibe here, optimism and assertion, we have optimism, moon in uh, Sagittarius, of course, and sun in Aries, so some of you are definitely dealing with a Sagittarius, or you may indeed be dealing with an Aries, you may have Aries in your chart, or you may have Sagittarius in your zodiac chart. Either way, this is some strong energy here. Optimism and assertion. Yes, optimism is there. Celebration is there. There is a strong optimistic vibe here because everything feels right. You know, four of wands is an energy of like, right, this is right. This feels good. This feels the way it's supposed to feel when everything is clicking in place. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave it at that. This is your weekly love outlook. What a wonderful reading. Excitement. I mean, I'm just excited for this for you because this feels like the beginning of an incredible love adventure. All right, guys, Um, if you enjoyed this video, just smash that like button. That's all I'm going to ask. Hit the like button. And that really helps me out a lot. And that's it, guys. Um, I wish you and your cross watchers and everyone that you love and who loves you love life and happiness. And I hope to see you guys all here on my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot, next Thursday for your weekly love outlook. Bye-bye now.